Dayton's Focus 2010 report aimed to find the key points that attract young people to a city. The number one um, priority for the mission was creating a walkable, um, urban-friendly environment. So this all fits in together with the top priority of the city. Attracting younger people to help with Dayton's tax base. It also keeps Dayton a place where you want to go outside because you'll see your neighbors in the flesh and not behind some car window. Connecting neighborhoods from, you know, South Park and St. Anne's right to downtown and making it safe, easily, and also um, attractive is, is really important for, for people that are the under 40s. And people over 40 like Sally Blackburn. She saw city planners of the 50s think car first, second, and third. Now she sees the need for change. The leadership of our city is going to depend on the youth. She's always been someone who has been concerned about um, where she lives and what's going on in her neighborhood. Nan has worked with city planners to create more diverse travel, more complete streets. We're working on a resolution now, so we say from this point forward, we are going to use the complete streets model when we engineer and re-engineer a street. I think that's important. National recognition to promote our home in a positive light. There's not a glass lens in front of her face. Um, she's engaged, she's out, she's diverse, and she listens. And I hear her actually out in public, me in the background, her not even knowing I'm there, and not even in front of cycling people and advocates talking about these ideas and how they fit into the big picture. So that glass lens is not there. There's actually something behind that door. A vision to make our 21st century more compatible for the residents of today and the residents of tomorrow. Well, it's a big, long project. For the city to adopt complete streets is important.